Hello guys, I hope you are all doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript question. This is a machine coding question that we are going to solve in React.js. As you can see on the screen and read the problem statement, we have to create a reusable stepper component. Stepper is a multi-step component that allows to have multiple steps before finishing the work that user is about to do. So here we are going to create this stepper component that will be a reusable component. This stepper will accept a list of components that it will show. That list will be an array of components. So depending upon how many components we have, right? One, two, three or four. We are going to show the number of list at the bottom, the pages, and then there will be a next and previous button or a skip button. So this next or previous button, right? It will be available as a props. So we are going to pass the option to navigate through the stepper, go forward or move back. This will be passed to all the child components that we are going to render for each step. And then inside the component, as per the logic, uh, you know, uh, we can have the buttons uh, which will be activated, deactivated and will navigate based on the uh, thing that the page want to achieve. So let's say if it is a form, if all the inputs are filled and if it is validated well, then only the button for next navigation will be enabled so that it can move to the next page. So right now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to create the stepper component with the previous and next button. And once we are done, I want you to extend the component and you, I want you to have the skip button as well. And I want you to make it dynamic on the style, like the stepper, whatever it is visible, right? It can be visible on the top or at the bottom. So you can make it a little more reusable and extensible. So we are going to create only the next and previous button for now in the video, but I want you to have the skip button as well. So that in case if any step is optional, you can skip that. So let's start creating this here on the code pane, sorry, code sandbox. You can see right our component is ready. So let me create a new page over here a file, sorry, and I'll call that as stepper. So what stepper will do is it will accept a list of. So let me note that down over here. It will accept a list of components and based on the count of the list, based on the size of the list, it will generate the paths or steps. It will generate the steps. So once we have the problem broken down into small tasks and we have it written, right? It is easier to tackle that. So I would advise you during the interviews, once you have all the, you know, problem statement and you have your queries asked with the interviewer, you break down the problem statement into multiple sub problems and have it noted somewhere so that you can refer and you can check if that part is completed or implemented or not during the machine coding. So let's create the stepper and the stepper will accept the list. So this is the function that we have inside this. We are going to return an empty fragment. And then at the end, I'm going to export default the stepper. Now here, based on the size of the steps, we have to generate the steps, right? The circles. So I'm going to get the steps count from the list dot length. This has to be an array. So we can add a check on that, that the list should always be array. And then what we are going to do is we are going to create that number of steps. So on steps, I'm going to create an array. And then here I'm running a loop for it. I equals to zero. I is less than steps count and then I 
plus plus and here I am going to push a JSX which will be a div slash div we are going to have the key as I the index and then I am going to add the step over here which is I plus 1 because the array starts with 0 and here we are going to print that so let's say I am creating a wrapper that will hold the steps let's call this as steps wrapper and inside this we are going to have the steps let me save this let's go back to app.js let's import the stepper so here i'm going to call the stepper we have imported this and because we haven't passed the list right it's showing that uh, the length is uh, it's not able to find the length property on the end defined so let's create this list and i'll pass the empty array for now so the error will be gone now here let's create dummy components so example one and this should return h1 hello one and after that let me create two three four so four components i've created over here example two hello two Three, four. So we got three components. Let's create a list over here. Launch list, and we are going to have the example one, example two, example 3 and example 4 in the array and let me pass this over so if i pass this list because we have four items right we should see four numbers generated on the screen so that's it it's visible one two three and four there is a semicolon okay so i have added a semicolon by mistake that's why so we got the four steps over here now we have to convert these steps into a, a more user centric right so it should be visually visible that they are the steps like this circles we have to create so let me inspect over here rather i can directly write the css so we are going to align this so because we are having a parent wrapper over here right steps wrapper so in the steps wrapper what we are going to do is steps wrapper and we'll say display flex align items center and justify content space between so it will place them on the screen so we have it right now on the screen and then we have to design these numbers right these steps also so let's move back to this two i'm going to add a class which is steps so that we can design it so now coming back over here steps let's width equals to 30 pixel height 30 pixel and then display border radius 50 percent so it will create a circle then we can give a background blue let's see sky blue or by default we can have it gray to determine that the current step is not you know it's not active to the active steps we'll give the blue color as we had seen in the design and then here we'll say display flex and then align items center so the number will come in center So now we have the numbers in the center.
now as per the design there is a line that draws from first step to the second step so let's do that we have to create a line as well so here just below to the steps we are going to have a line let me create a div over here let me call this progress line and then because the line passes through each of the step right so right now as we have pi so the count of the elements increase right that's why we see the gap so it's good that we remove it from here and then let's have another wrapper Do last name is steps container and then below the steps wrapper we are going to have the progress line that so that the steps wrapper remain intact now we have the steps container so steps container and then we have the progress line so the progress line will be a line that starts from one and goes till the last step that is four so what we are going to do is we are going to create a absolute position line or we can have the relative one also but let me position this relative and then we can have this as position absolute uh, height as 2 pixel and background as gray and then here we can have the width as 100% let's see yeah so it is visible and then we have top as minus 50 percent so does it goes to the top and the left as zero so the top is not working okay the steps container it has consumed till here so if i inspect this steps container i think the spelling is wrong steps if we save this let me copy the spelling from here okay so the line goes through that let me move it back so that index is minus one okay so it has moved beyond the line now let's so when the step will complete we'll extend the line so that we'll see now our style is ready the last thing that is pending is let's add a transition so because we are going to update the property so we want to do it smoothly that's why i'm going to add a transition to the steps because i'm going to update the background colors of the circle as well as the for the progress line all 0.25 seconds and with the ease so this should do the changes in the property smoothly now we have our list our steps are generated now we want to show the current element from the list so the current page so by default the active page will start with zero so we'll need a state management here to determine at which step we are currently so let's do that current step and then set 
parent step and here we are going to have u state as 0 so by default we will start with 0 now 0 because we are dealing with the array that's why we have used 0 and if you are dealing with non array index based anything so you can start with 1 but because we are dealing with array so we are starting with 0 now here let me convert this to section this whole thing and then let me give this as a name as pepper and under this next to the steps con we are going to have another div and we are going to print the current item from the list so list and the current step so see because we are at zero so we are seeing the first element which is at hello one from the list now when we will navigate we will just update the current state current step so it will move from 0 to 1 but before that we have to handle the state changes and it should be visible visually to the user so because we are on the first step right we should have this as blue color the first step and the line it should be invisible at the beginning and as we navigate through the step it should extend so let's do that let me remove the 100% and set it as 0 because we don't want to show the progress line at the beginning because we are at the first step and then whichever step we are at right we want to show it as active so what we are going to do is we are going to add a active class to this now let me convert this to a template literal And then here I can add a check if current step equals to equals to or if current step is so as we navigate right we have to move through the step so if the current step is 3 then we have to show the first and two also as completed so if the current step is greater than or equal to y we are going to add an active class otherwise an empty string so if there is an active class we have to change the background color of the circle so let's move back and here steps dot active and we are going to set the background color as sky blue so see it's visible now because we are at the first step and the first step is active we are able to see the color changes over here and let me add another change over here so color as uh, white or red something that is visual let's keep it black only it's not looking good either way so we we are at the circle and the active circle is visible visually right now and then as we navigate we have to change the color of the other circles as well that will be handled by this logic so if current step is greater than the index of the array so if you are at the step 3 that is it is greater than 0 and 1 so all this will be uh, having the active class in it and so it will turn blue now we have to update the progress lies as well as we move forward so the progress line is a width based right it moves from 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 so here as you can see we are going to generate the line three times on the four steps we are going to generate the line three times so uh, as per this uh, the logic is the number of steps we have right and the line that will be generated will always be n minus 1 so because if you see over here in the four step form we move from one to two so line is generated once two to three once and then three to four once so it's always going to be n minus one so considering that our initial width is zero now if we move anywhere or navigate to the next step it should 
go till the second step so here the full width is this box right it starts from 1 go till 4 so we have to divide the line in three parts so what we are going to do is const progress line width and we say that 100 divided by 3 so we divide we consider it as 100 percent right 100 percent is the width and then we divide it in 3 so it's not generally 3 it's list dot length minus 1 because we are going to have n minus 1 times the lines so it will divide it into 3 parts and then it will extend now at the 0th step right at the current step so at the current step is line visible no it's not visible because it will move to the next part so we are going to divide the 100 by the list length minus 1 and then the number of steps right so currently the current step is 0 so we are not going to show the line once we move to the first step the first line should be visible so what we are going to do over here is we are just going to multiply it with the current step so what happens is if you are at the 0th step or the I mean you are at the first step but we are using 0 to track right we are starting with the 0 so this value becomes 0 for the first step as we are multiplying by 0 so the line won't draw if you go to the second step the current step becomes 1 and if you divide 100 by 3 that becomes 33 so we will have 33 percent of line so 33 percent of line will go from 1 to 2 and then if you are at the current step 2 so it becomes 66.66 percent .66%, so it's grow it will go from 1 to 2 and then 2 to 3 so it's a simple mathematical calculation that we are using to determine the progress line width let me have this and set it dynamically over here as a style property so we are going to have the width and then we are going to set this progress line width and that too in percentage. Now we got our active class to determine which step is active and we got our progress line width. Now let's do one thing. Let's add a click event on the steps and update the current step and let's see if things are working fine or not visually. So we added the logic right. Let's check if it is working fine or not so let me add this on click event over here and let's set current step and that will be i so if we click on any of these steps it will set the current step to the given array index and it should navigate now here if you see let's update the style and add a cursor as pointer so that it's visible that we are clicking on that so if I click on 2 you see the line goes from here to here so it, it has not completely reached if I click on 3 still it has not completely reached and if I click on 4 still it hasn't reached so let's check over here what happened <coughs> sorry so 100 divided by list dot length the list is 4 and then minus 1 becomes 3 so y hasn't let me print it console.log save this So if I click on 2, I am getting this as 24, it should be 33, right? So let me check what is the list dot length minus 1, it should be 3. So it is 3. So if I am doing 100 divided by 3 into current step, so that's okay, I guess that's the culprit over here. So The minus is taking precedence over the divide operator so we had to add that or wrap that in another bracket so that we can get the length first and then divide by 100 so that's what was happening now 
let's move back and check if things are working fine or not so if i click on one the first one is active line is hidden if i click on two the line goes from one to two and two becomes active if i click on three the line goes from two to three it becomes active and then if i click on four it goes three four and four becomes active and here we can see the pages are also changing now if i come back to three two one three four and if I click back to 2, it comes 2 step back. If I click on 4, it goes 2 step forward. 1. And then if I click on 4 directly, it will move to the 4th step directly. And all becomes active. So this is what we wanted in the stepper component. So our logic, visually, it is working fine. Now what we have is, we have to create 2 navigations option that will provide to this children's or the list components that we are accepting. So we have to pass them an option to navigate through so that will be we are going to create two actions one is const on previous and then we are going to have const on next so the logic to navigate remains in the stepper component but we'll pass this to the children's so that they can use it freely as per their case as per their use case in the component and then they can navigate through the stepper components so in the previous we are going to add a check if the current step is not equals to zero then we are going to set the current step as current step minus one so we are not navigating back we cannot go beyond zero right so zero or the first step is the limit for us so that's why we added a if condition check over here similarly here if the current step is not equal to list dot length minus one so if we have reached to the last step then also we cannot navigate forward and if it has not reached then only increase the step by one so we got our on previous and on next option ready now if you are even if you are working with react right so uh, when i was solving this problem i was blank yesterday because what happened was i was not sure how should i pass this these two functions right as a properties to this component now uh, many times what we do is we extract the component in a variable let's say like this and then we try to create a component from this so something similar to this but this won't work it will throw an error so see if you can see the error right expected a string or a class function but got object because this is an object it's returning an object it is passed as an object so this won't work now to solve this what we can do is react have something called so we have to import react let me import that okay it is there so react dot clone element so react have something called clone element what we can do is we can clone an element that is of object type so which is basically this and we can extend that so here i'm going to pass the current element and then after that it will accept the properties that you want to pass so which is on previous and on next so like this we can clone an object element and then we can pass the properties to this so we are passing on preview and on next to this whichever component is active now if i go back on this components here i can extract on preview on next and then i can have a button here so let me add two buttons over here a division and then so 
so feed and then next and on click of this on click we are going to go on previous and on click of the next we are going to go on next so let let's have it for all other options so here here and here and then let me copy this so hello 2 now it should also have the navigation button hello 3 and then hello 4 so let me save this and now if you see on the screen right below the text the heading we have the button now if i click on the next button you see that we are moving to the next step and the logic works perfectly fine if i click on the next it's moving forward and then again moving forward now on the fourth step this should not be visible so you can hide it previous previous and previous next 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 and next if i click any forward it won't work because we have added a base condition over here so that it should not move beyond the number of steps that we have and then backward and backward now let's do one thing let's add another element to make sure that the list is working dynamically it's not bounded to only four elements so example 5 example 5 and here let's add example 5 to the list so now we should have five elements And now if i see so see we are seeing five steps right now and the line has automatically adjusted let me reload this so it should start from one now if you see we have five steps the first step is active and if i click on next the line goes till two only our calculation is working fine so what we have did over here then again three four and five and if you wish if we click on 2 it moves directly to the second step if i click on 4 it moves directly to the fourth step or we can go step by step forward and backward so that's how you can create a multi stepper form now as per the question i want you to implement this skip option so that it can skip the current step and it can move to the next part it should remain optional also for the components you can add checks that if the current page is required or not so it cannot be skippable. I hope you have learned something new today. Thank you for your time.